Hey, this is Nash from Type Tech, the place that I buy tech that I could afford. So let's begin. So today we have here the Poco X3 NFC. I've decided to take a break from headphones and I bought a new phone for my father which is the X3 so I want to see what is the content inside alright so as you can see it's a very simple design by Poco if you want to know what is the price that I got it for it is 349 and if it is on sale it's about 319 which is during Xiaomi's flash sale and it is the 128 GB variant if you get the 64 it's cheaper the I bought this from a Singapore retailer as you can see there's a shiny logo right here to certify that it's official and if you want to know the specs the specs will be shown on the screen right now all right so there's nothing else to say here but to unbox this yeah. all right all right as you can see here it's poco oh okay we can open from here oh shit i tear it okay so inside here you have the sim injector tool and the casing with some quick start guide and instruction manual so inside the this you have a clear tpu case right here as you can see next oh, okay okay as you can see the poco f3 yeah, yeah. the specs here it says it has 120 hertz display 732 g g snapdragon 64 megapixel and 5160 milliamp hours with 33 fast charge so yeah that really good. all right so this is the phone so if you can see the case they give is actually can protect quite a lot it's quite a decent protection and look you can see that and yeah so next inside here there is a charger charging brick here it should be the 33 watt charging charging brick and also it is a type c as you can see from the back i got the blue version so as you can see this is the poco x3 right here and on the top the mic and the uh, ir blaster if i'm not mistaken i would try it later so on the left side there's sim tray on the bottom you can see this is a speaker with a type c and the headphone jack so on the right side it is the volume rocker and the power button with the fingerprint and in front it is a pre-applied screen protector with the notch camera like a circle dot here so this is all for the only unboxing so i'm going to set this up and i will show you guys with the camera sample and the other stuff bye i have used this for a few days and i must say it's quite interesting to use as uh, for a phone that is has a 5000 milliamp hours it doesn't feel as chunky and i have went to like the to my retail store to try like the Xiaomi Mi 10 Xiaomi Mi 10 which also have about 5000 milliamp hours and that boy is huge it is comparable when compared to the K20 Pro which has only 4000 milliamp hours and it's almost have the same th thickness and about the same weight which is quite impressive and also you can see here the fingerprint mount on the side it is very responsive as you can see 
It is responsive, however, because I'm not used to having a fingerprint as the power button on the side. It's difficult to get used to it because I, I always put in my pocket. I will accidentally just press it to unlock. And you also have the option of you unlock, press the power button first before you unlock the phone. But it is, for me, it's a bit, still, still a bit, quite a steep learning curve for me to learn. But once you get used to it, it's no problem. And one thing I noticed that the game, they, they, I have already removed some of the bloatware from the home screen. Basically, on the home screen, you will see uh, a couple of folders, which is be the Google folder and some other apps by Xiaomi. And also, the next page will be pre preloaded games. As you can see from here, apart from Genshin Impact, Call of Duty, and PUBG, there are a few games, you, as you can see, it is already pre-installed. So as you can see, is a, there is like Amazon, block, block, I don't know what block, uh, bub, some bubble games, uh, look at another like slasher games, another shooting games, and also even yeah, IQE also is installed. Yeah, just, just take note that there are some bloatware that will be pre-installed and it might differ depends on your region. Yeah, this is just my phone and... I have yet to uninstall them. How how's the camera performance like? As you can see, the camera right here, over here, you can see is the 64 megapixel IMAX Sony IMAX 682. And over here, you can see there is a ultra wide camera, 13 megapixel with a field of view of 119 degrees. And over here, you can see here there is a 2 megapixel depth sensor and 2 megapixel micro sensor so they are as good as as not having that but so is the 2 main camera which is the 64 megapixel and also the ultra wide all right so after test after looking at that recently i have went to ikea to take some photo and this is how it looks like using the normal shot and this is how it looks like using the ultra wide and this is using auto without ai on or hdr on so tell me how it looks like and after that i went and before we i while i was waiting for my dinner i have taken a micro shot of my teddy bear the arsenal bear as you can see here it is relatively detailed but because due to its two megapixel sensor the color looks very pale and also if i try to zoom in you can see that the photo is very uh, quite grainy but it is still quite a interesting shot to take and the next shot you as you can see this is how it looks like the uh, this is how close i can get before the main sensor unable to focus on the camera uh, on the subject and with that shot i cropped it in to about the same size as the micro shot and as you can see it retains way more detail nine it is quite more appealing to the eye compared to using the two megapixel sensor and i could actually gain more information if i turn it up to 64 megapixel as you all know, should know that on default the camera it is set on 60 megapixel with a 4 is to 1 pixel binning so that's why you are not utilizing the full 64 megapixel so my dessert came and is the ice kacang and as you can see, this is the shot without using the AI sensor. And this is how it looks like using the AI sensor as it read as food. So it naturally boosts up the color to be more yellowish. Tell me what do you think about the shot. And after that, I was on my way home and I spotted that there is a Santa inside a dome as a display so i went ahead and try all of the sensors so first shot as you can see this is the no using without any using any ai and without any hdr the next is i turn on the ai mode follow up by 
the HDR mode. So the next shot I use is the ultra wide mode and follow up by finally using the night mode or from the phone and most tell me which one you like more i like the night mode because it was able to minimize the harsh light from the background compared to all of the other shots and i could see the center inside the dome clearer compared to the rest the next day i decided to take a walk about and start to take some photo and video unfortunately on that day it was raining so i was unable to go to a park so this is only the only thing that i have to play around with so as you can see the next photo i using the micro sensor and this time it looks way nicer because there is a lot of light for the camera to detect and you can see that it has retained even the the water droplets and I have zoomed in and I also still can see a bit of the lines that has been retained using the camera. Then next, I decided to turn on the AI mode and it was able to detect that it is a leaf. And because of that, it decided to boost up the saturation and as you can see, it is way more redder now. So after that, I decided to turn off the AI mode and this is how it looks like. And lastly, I use the portrait mode and i was focusing on the same leaf as the other photos so tell me how it looks like and whether you like it or not so i decided to use the selfie camera and tell me what how it sounds and looks like hi guys so this is the using the selfie camera of the 20 megapixel and you can see not too bad and currently I'm going up the stairs and I wanted to go to the park but unfortunately it start to rain and my footwear is not the most best gripping ever so I guess this is the best I can do and this is how far you can stretch it out while holding uh, most of the time you'll be holding this way so it's not too bad lah too bad, too far out. Can see. So yeah, what do you think about the stabilization of the camera? So now I'm going down the stairs. And yeah, so that's all. So see ya. This is using the main camera. As you can see up there, it is heavily. It's raining heavily. So yeah. So I have to walk the outdoor. I can walk up. So I can walk the outdoor. And I wonder how well the mic picked up on my voice. So yeah. So this is using the main primary camera. And I will connect the, the ultra wide. Okay, this is using the ultra wide. As you can see, the rain is getting heavier and I'm slowly walking and you guys tell me how good is the camera the stabilization and that's all for the short video alright this is using the 4k 30 so tell me what do you think about the stabilization and the uh, quality okay so now now that you have seen the the ultra wide the normal mode the selfie and also the 4k 30 fps tell me how it looks like for you guys so as you can see this is using the default mode which is off hdr and on and also off AI mode and next I have turned on the HDR mode with the AI off and next the and next this is when I turn on the AI mode and turn off the HDR mode so this is when I click uh, focus on me and when I decided to just leave it at this as you can see the the light 
there's a lot of lighting difference ah. and lastly i took an a uh, selfie using the AI mode and also when I turn off the AI mode so tell me what do you think about it so I decided to take a photo of my cats who, uh, who was sleeping and as you can see this is how it looks like without AI on and this is how it looks like with AI on so yeah that, that is all for the photos and videos tell me what do you think about it and Lastly, about the display, it uses the IPS display and also have 120Hz display. But if you don't know that on default, this thing is set on 60Hz display. So to change, you need to turn, you go to the settings and you go to display. And over there, there is the word refresh rate. As you can see, for me, I have put 120Hz display. And, and on default, it will be on 60Hz display. So to me, the 120Hz 120 display actually feels very fluid. But actually, I could be, it can be more, even more fluid if I go to the developer settings and turn down the animation to 0 0.5, which makes the phone be way, way, way more smoother than now. But how is it really necessary? Is up to you. So now I'm going to turn on game. So the first game I, I can show you guys it is the Call of Duty mobile so before before we start the game I need to tell you that the speaker is a stereo speaker which is blasting out from here and also from here so it is actually pretty quite loud and satisfying as I can turn out to the maximum and even when even when I decided to cover the sound from here you can still clearly hear see you can clearly hear the sound coming up from the top all right so now we are going to play quick match and i have cranked all the settings up to the maximum so hopefully we can get some kills uh man i was i'm bad Right, one Q right there. Alright, double Q. Nice. Alright, another double Q. Woohoo, triple Q. And I died. Haha. <laughs> Damn. Burn, baby, burn. Got him. Oh. Wait. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Mm, nice. Burn. Aha. Yes. Easy, easy, man. Easy. This is easy kill. All right. So, yeah, I start. I just created a new account so let's do this okay so as you can see my the phone is only able to go up to HD and yeah then it can't go any higher because it's not available on the phone but I can make it to high frame rate so so good so yeah so there is one thing to take note 
So we now we're gonna play some game. Let's see how well we perform. Alright, we are landing, we are landing. Okay, so far it's still quite stable the frames. Any guns, any guns, any guns? No gun. No pistol. Alright. Oh, shit. Alright, first kill. Sweet. Oh, fuck, fuck. Ow, 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 ow. ow. Ah! No good, no good, it's not good at all. Oh shit. Ow, 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 Where is this guy shooting? I can see, I can see. Oh yeah. Okay, this guy's down. There's one more at the back. Can see. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh ho! That was very dangerous. Good. There we go. I have the high ground. Whee. Okay, I'm 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 bored. So quit. Okay, so the next game we are going to play is the Genshin Impact. So this is actually a very good indicator on how well your phone will perform because even the those who are using 855 or the 865 from what I heard they also struggle playing this game so let's see how good the phone can perform using the Arduino 618 so this is at low low setting and if I were to try the medium setting it will say overclock and yeah, and as, as every time I try to swerve left and right, your the game feel a bit laggier. And also, unfortunately, the you can utilize the hundred twenty hertz display. Because I when I try to turn on to sixty fps, a eh, sixty frames, it will start to lag a bit. Even though I put it at the low settings. So I mean, like it is quite. It's still playable at at medium settings. So now let's try fighting some enemies. Wait. Alright. Oh, look at that. So, yeah. Uh, I mean like there's no point for you cranking up any higher than medium medium settings because any higher it will start to lag pretty quite consistently. So I yeah so if you are playing intending to play this for Genshin Impact, it is advisable to use the low or medium settings because I tried to play at high and it lags like quite quite frequently it just keep on throttling as I show you right now as you can see the when you turn it 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 takes some time to perform eh, to move and actually you can still see the the lagginess while while this while Shaling is running right now so it's not good if you are trying to fight the boss so yeah, that's all for the gaming section. Alright, so now we are playing some NCS song which is Lost Sky, Need, Need You. So 
this is already considered loud enough for me and this is how loud you can go So this is the, the loudest you can go and yeah so usually for me if I will play I will play around this loud so it seems like most of the bass will go to the bass and the loudness will all come through the bottom speaker and the top is just complementing the sound which is quite quite interesting uh, because once if you just play it here like you just raise it up you barely can tell that it is playing only on the right side of the speaker so yeah so that is the sound so tell me what do you think think how loud it can be price is it worth the price tag of 350 SGD it is all up to you to decide because currently uh, for for me the plus point of this cam of this phone is that it has quite long lasting battery quite quite good six uh, quite good module of a 64 megapixel decent ultra wide and also the 120 Hertz display is a plus point but it's just unfortunate that because it is using a 732G Snapdragon, it is not, it cannot be utilized as well. So games like Genshin Impact, you can turn up the re the frame rates to make it the game smoother. But I mean, like playing like Call of Duty is actually quite easily manageable. So as playing like PUBG, as you can see just now. Yeah, is the only downs, the only negative things that I can say is just the power button at the side. You will need to get used to it. And if you are the person who likes the playing using those for those who like their OLED, this is not the phone you are looking for because it's a IPS display. And for for the because of the mo for me is because of the module here is rather big when, when actually when you play it when you put your hands here there is actually not much there is not much space for me to land on without touching the camera module so at times it feels like uncomfortable because i have to like tilt it tilt it a bit or i need to push it all the way up which will make my and quite tired after a while but it has actually pretty long stereo speakers and overall if you are looking f if you are not looking for a phone to play games in this is actually quite ideal because it has almost all the things that you can ask for and you also pro and by default they give a quite actually quite a good quality clear clear casing for the phone even it had it provides with a flap right here which prevents any water or dirt not that it needs anyway because it is also IP is IP certified so you are you are not going to be worried about it so that's all for this video so thank you for watching and this is Nash and I catch you all next time. See ya.